Hello and welcome to highlights of the seventh edition of Liège Baston Liège. Round 14 of the Women's World Tour for 2023. Damie Vollering going into the day. Can she do the triple? Annemiek van Vleuten, the defending champion. Strong team from Movistar with Liana Lippert, who had finished on the second step of the podium in Flesh Wallon in the week. The riders rolled out from Bastogne with 142.8 kilometers to ride. Nine climbs in total. They headed through Hufelis. The first climb, the Côte de la mont le -Soir, onto the Côte de Juan, the new climb of the Côte de Stocco. And then they would head towards the Col de Rossière, past Spa. And really at the Col de Macossar is where we would expect things to kick off as they went into the Côte de la Redoute, the Côte de Forge, and then the Côte de la Roche au Faucon. But plenty of uncategorized climbs along the route as well. It is a punishing race, 2,625 metres of climbing. An early breakaway group went clear with just over 75k to go. Cassia Nuvia Doma of Canyon Tram unfortunately puncturing and she had neutral service. This left Marlon Royce, Anna Henderson, Amanda Spratt and Esme Peppercamp in the breakaway group. As they headed towards Alara Duke, the gap had come down to just over 30 seconds. But under the pressure and the power of the Swiss rider from SD Works, Marlon Reusser going clear on the punishing slopes of Lara Dute. Annemiek van Vleuten was splitting the group behind. Marlon Reusser's teammates, Damie Vollering and Neve fisher Black, are both in that chasing group behind, along with the likes of Elise Chabet, Elisa Longo-Borghini and Guy Realini. Amanda Spratt, though, is doing a great job of staying clear. Still at 45 seconds, Esme Peppercamp was battling to try and stay with her. The gap, though, for Marlon Reusser was up over a minute as they headed towards the final 20 kilometers or so. Amanda Spratt would be caught by the chasing group behind, and this would free up Trek Segafredo to assist in the chase, and chase they did. Amanda Spratt still had the legs to ride on the front. Shirin Van Anroy in the blue jersey as the leader of the Best Young Riders classification in the Women's World Tour for 2023. Spratt and Van Anroyd would launch Longo Borghini up the road. Elise Shabby of Canyon Tram Racing, the Swiss rider, able to go with them. SD Works and Damie Vollering, recognising the danger of Longo Borghini riding away, started to chase behind. She made contact with the two chasers and only her teammate now, Marlon Reusser, ahead of them. Van Vluten and Realini also making it onto the group, but a small gap left by Damie Vollering, allowed Elisa Longa, Borghini and Marlon Reusser to go clear, only for Vollering to launch and a move across the gap on the Côte de Roche au Faucon. She made it up to the front. The power, though, of Vollering too much for Marlon Reusser, having spent so much time at the head of the race, she would drop back to a group of Van Vluten, Realini, Chabé and Rihanna Marcus of Team Jumbo Visma, the Dutch champion, making it across to that chasing group. With just over 10 kilometers to go, it really did then come down to a battle between Damie Vollering and Elisa Longa Borghini. Damie Vollering winning this race in 2021 after an absolute monster 10 kilometer lead out by now director sportif and coach Anna van der Bregen. Both Longo Borghini and Vollering, you would say, fairly closely matched in a sprint. They were through the Flam Rouge and heading up towards the finish. The Trek Sega Fredo rider on the front was doing everything that she could to maneuver Vollering through to the front. It was a late sprint with just over 150 meters to go. Longo Borghini launched first, but the triple is done. Damie Vollering follows in the wheel tracks of Anna van der Bregen, who first did the triple in 2017. Amstel Gold, Flesh Wallon, and Liege Bastard on the age while behind Marlon Reusser made it a first and third for SD Works winning the group sprint just ahead of Annemiek van Vluten and that rest of that group there's your sprint Longo Borghini went first but Vollering makes no mistake comes through to take it for team SD Works the joy and the delight evident on the face and deservedly so Vollering takes Liège Baston Liège for the second time in her career.
Your top 10 looks like this. Demi Vollering, Elisa Longleby, Ian Marlon, Royce, your podium. Marcus Shabe, Van Vluta, Raelini, Lippert, Paladin and Fisher Black, your top 10. On the top step of the podium yet again. Only one race this season. She has finished off the podium. Here's Amy Vollering. Takes it from Elisa Longobagini and teammate Marlon Royce. Spring Classics are done. We now head on to the stage racing season. Next up is La Vuelta Femenina down in Spain starting on the 1st of May.